Hello guys and welcome back to another GTA 5 modding tutorial. In today's video we will be installing Menu, which is basically a single player mods, um, mod menu for GTA 5. It has a bunch of options and in my opinion it's probably the best mod menu for single player. So let's just go ahead and dive right into the video and if you do enjoy I would really really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe and by the way guys happy new year to everyone and let's get right into the video so the first thing we want to do is locate our main game directory that's where we'll be installing the mods like menu so what we want to do for that is we want to go to our steam then go to library then go down to your grand theft auto v here and then once you're there just go ahead and go down to the manage tab click on that hover over the manage and then go down to browse local files okay then just go ahead and click on that then you can minimize steam then this is uh, our main game directory here this is where we'll put our, all our mods in uh, by the way just to let you know if you go back to common as you can see i have grand theft auto v dash copy basically it's my backup file so if anything happens to my grand theft auto uh, say if i install a bad mod and it just ruins my full entire game instead of have to reinstalling it i can go to my copy and restart through that instead of have to reinstall the game to do that just go back in common go to your onefifth.v right click show more options and copy and then go down here right click show more options and then paste it okay then you'll have a full backup for your game okay but your main game directory is here and if you can't find it through steam then you can go to this pc your local disk your program files x86 then you go to steam then you want to go down to um, steam apps then go to common okay common is here and by the way if you don't want to do that you can go back again and you can drag the common folder underneath desktop and it should say pin to quick access so now it'll be there so every time you close this instead of have to go into steam you can go straight to your file explorer and then you can go straight to common and then it'll be right there and then you just click into it okay so um now we've found our main games directory we're just gonna put it up here for now okay then we're gonna hop right into the tutorial now so first thing we're gonna need is script v it it's pretty much required for every mod you install so by the way all the links are in the description so first link will take you to here script v once you're here guys you want to go down to the download click on the download here and then go ahead and save it once you've got it you can go ahead and put it somewhere on your desktop or open it i'm just gonna put it on my desktop by the way guys you can't install winrar i don't have winrar right now so i'm just gonna drag this to my desktop minimize that it's over here i'm gonna grab that and then we want to go down to winrar and extract okay that'll extract it here for some reason my winrar doesn't want to open it should always open with but it doesn't want to so just go ahead and open that with winrar if you want to or you could just extract it to your desktop somewhere just go ahead and open it once you've extracted it guys i'm gonna go back to nope it's down here i'm gonna drag it here i've got my main game directory here as well okay, let me just sell a bit how am i supposed to do that it's in the way anyway guys um once you've got your main game directory up in here you've got it here and you've got your script hook v uh, extracted on your desktop or somewhere in here you want to go ahead and go into the bin folder then there'll be three files okay you just want to select all of them and then hold left control and deselect native trainer.asi because we're not going to be using that so just go ahead once you've got um dimpot8.dll and script hook v.dll selected go ahead and drag and drop them into your main game directory make sure you're not hovering over anything so just put it somewhere at the side okay so i'm just going to drop it here where it says move to grand theft Auto v okay now it should drop dimpot8.dll and script hook v.dll in there once you've done that you can refresh and now we can close this down and delete that and then we'll go back to our browser next link is to the actual menu uh, on github uh, so if you want to go ahead and go here to github uh, in description it'll take you here guys go ahead and go down to the releases and click on the latest i'll take you here then in here go down to the assets and click on menu sp.zip 
اوكي go ahead and save it and now you're gonna have it now you can go ahead and open it with winrar again my winrar doesn't want to work today so i'm just gonna go ahead and drag it here and then we're gonna go ahead and extract it okay once you've extracted it you can delete that and then you'll have this just go ahead and open it i'm gonna get my gun stop and open again drag it over here okay so in this make sure your game main game directory is open uh in menu sp you want to go ahead and go um select menu.asi make sure you're holding down left control so and then select menu stuff as well once you've got these two selected just go ahead and drag these two into your main game directory like before where it says move to gunpuff.v simple as that guys now you can go ahead and refresh now you can close that and um, now you once you've done that guys you can close that and close out anything you don't need to open also we can delete that now uh, and now we can go ahead and launch the game and i'll show you how to use it so i'll see you guys once we are in the game okay guys so once you get back into the game what you want to go ahead and do to open menu is you want to go ahead and click f8 on your keyboard and it should say that and then you want to click f8 once more and it should pop up here as you can see now the menu is actually on you can pretty much just mess around with it there's a bunch of options for example if you go into the player options and um you scroll down just a bit there's loads of options down here such as invincibility and invisibility okay um i usually use invincibility and you can mess around with this there's a lot of options in here like no ragdoll no, it's it's a great menu guys. Anyway, that's pretty much it guys. That is the end of the video. And by the way, to close the menu, just click F8 again. Or escape. Um, but anyway, that is the end of the video guys. If you did enjoy, I would really appreciate it. If you could like and subscribe, it would really help. Even a like would help. Uh, but anyway guys, there's going to be a lot more videos coming. But that's pretty much the end. And I hope you enjoyed the video guys. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.